In Seattle, you can smell and taste the wildfire smoke, and air quality is bad. We're breaking down the current situation and what it'll take to clear it out. Plus, monkeypox concerns now at a local school. What parents and students of Hazen High School need to know to stay safe and healthy. And imagine waking up in the middle of plastic surgery because you weren't sedated properly. Those are the accusations brought against a doctor in King County today. We're breaking it all down for you. Fox 13 News at 5 starts right now. If you've been outside today at all, you can smell it. You can even see it. The air quality very poor across western Washington today. All that smoke. We are tracking the situation for you here on your news at 5. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Rose. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. In the last 12 hours, crews say a big plume of smoke kicked up overnight. And while crews say they've got the Bull Creek fire mostly wrapped up, that smoke is what's hanging in the air, impacting all of us today. So this is a look over Seattle showing just how hazy it is outside right now. Let's look at the air quality around the state. It's the opposite of what we've seen all summer. Mostly clear conditions in eastern Washington. Very poor readings here on our side of the mountains. We're going to send it over to Aaron Mayofsky. So how are the weather patterns impacting the air quality right now? In other words, when is the smoke going to clear out? Yeah, for sure. It's all about the winds. And overnight, uh, we went to bed thinking maybe it'll be moderate to some unhealthy for sensitive groups. But it did kick up, and the winds pushed more smoke and haze into our neck of the woods. This is kind of a quick snapshot of where we're at. An unhealthy for sensitive groups, and then the unhealthy is where we're seeing. So most of us in and around the downtown area seeing these levels. Not bad at all, but as we look to the sensitive group for folks, yes, that's happening between Seattle and maybe down towards the Tacoma area as we look a little closer. These bubbles should lift tonight into the moderate zone. Up to the North Sound, we're getting some really good air quality readings up there for Bellingham, Blaine, Birch Bay, La Conner, through the islands. And as we look at our Northwest region as a whole, we're seeing further south down to our neighbors in the Rose City into the Cascades is where we're seeing some of those levels. So here's a look at our forecast as we ride through. We are going to see See those levels now through tonight to the unhealthy for sensitive groups. They'll start to diminish and get back to that moderate zone as we go through our first day of fall. And then Friday and Saturday, even into Sunday, it looks a lot better for our air quality index. So we have that to look forward to. But you can definitely see it. Paul's Bow Liberty Bay is showing off that haze right now. And it just is hard to breathe. You can smell it in the air. So just give it another beat or so because as we get through tonight into tomorrow, it's going to be a lot better. 76 degrees is where we're at with our temperatures and here's a look at where we're going for tomorrow for the first uh, day of fall upper 60s to near 70 that's average we'll talk about how this forecast breaks down in just a few minutes